Avatar just got released on Netflix and it's amazing. When I was a kid, I used to watch The Last Airbender on a small boxy TV. I always wanted to be a firebender and today my dream is coming true. I'm gonna turn myself into a fire lord in Premiere Pro. And of course, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Step one. Film yourself acting like you're firebending. If you want, you can add a dark blue tint to the background. That will make the fire pop a little more. Now, when you're done shooting, you also need a clip of fire. I got mine from Storyblocks, but if you want, you can also film it yourself. Just do it outside when it's dark. And be careful. In Premiere, go to the frame where you're igniting the flame. Then drag the fire clip against your playhead. Now, with that clip selected, go to the effect controls and find opacity. In here, you can see a list with blending modes. By choosing screen, or add, you can remove the blacks and everything around the fire will become visible. Next, click the motion properties. In the program monitor, you can now adjust the size and position to match your hand. Now, before we do any tracking, we're gonna make the flame appear by animating a mask. To do that, make sure the playhead's on the first frame of the clip. Then in opacity, click the pen tool to create a mask. Now, drag a shape underneath the fire. Make sure it has three points on top. You'll understand why in a second. Now, this way the fire will disappear. To make it appear again, click the mask pad stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Make sure the mask is selected and go to the program monitor. Now use your scroll wheel to move further in time and adjust the mask so that the flame becomes partially visible. Make sure it goes up like a triangle. This will make it more realistic. Now keep doing that until the flame is visible. Next increase the feather to something like 200. Now we have the ignition but we're gonna make it look a lot better. To do that go to window on top and find Lumetri color. Once it's open go to the exposure and increase it until the flame looks too bright. Now go to the effect controls and as you can see, the telemetry effect is applied right here. Find the exposure property and set a keyframe. Then grab the playhead and move further in time until the flame is visible again. Now set the exposure back to zero. There you go, a beautiful ignition. And now it's time to track the fire to the movement of your hand. First, I want to tell you more about Storyblocks. This plugin helped me find the fire I needed for this tutorial. Just click the download button and it's right there in your project. There's no need to leave Premiere. Now, besides downloading Fire, you can download thousands of assets right here from this plugin. Oh, and this also works in After Effects, by the way. Storyblocks is sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. Now, Storyblocks' curated stock library has everything you need to create high quality video. All of that in one place. With over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images, and so much more for just one predictable subscription. Subscri subscription cost. So, you never have to pay an expensive price per clip ever again. By choosing from thousands pre made professional templates for Premiere, After Effects, Apple Motion, and DaVinci Resolve, you will take your videos to the next level and speed up your creative workflow a lot. Create better videos faster with customizable DaVinci Resolve templates. From motion graphics to animated sequences, they are essential to creating professional looking videos at scale. Anything you download on Starblocks is 100% royalty free, so nothing to worry about. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, go to starblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics. Or just Click the link down below. And now, let's track our hand and put some fire on it. Now, to do that, we need to find a spot on your hand that we can track. Ideally, closest to the middle of your hand, but in between your fingers will work fine. First, let's disable the fire track. We don't need to see it for now. In Premiere, we do have to track things manually because it doesn't have a tracker. However, if you're familiar using the tracker in After Effects, that will save you a lot of time. But no worries, you, you can still do this in Premiere. Now I'm gonna mark this spot between my fingers so that I can track it. To do that, go to the toolbar and grab the pen tool. In the program monitor, drag a plus icon like this. Then make sure it sits on the right spot, in between your fingers. Next, go to the effects library and find the transform effect. Then drag it on your tracking marker. In the effect controls, set a position keyframe. Then use the arrow key on your keyboard to move one frame further. Now adjust the position so that the tracking marker sits on your spot again. Keep moving forward in time and keep adjusting the tracking marker. Do that until you're at the end of your clip. This will take around 5 to 10 minutes. Now when you're done, grab the playhead and move to the first keyframe. We didn't track the ignition yet. To do that, move one frame backward and again adjust the position. Keep doing that until you're at the first frame of the clip. Now this transform effect is our tracking data. We now have to take it and apply it to the fire clip. To do that, right click the effect and choose copy. Now move the tracking marker away and enable the 
fire track again. Before we paste the tracking data, right click the fire clip and choose nest. This will make sure the scale of the fire clip is set to 100. This is essential because otherwise the tracking data doesn't work. Now make sure the clip is selected and go to the effect controls. Because we nested it, the blacks are visible again. So just go to opacity and set the blending mode back to screen. Finally, press Ctrl plus V in your keyboard to paste the tracking data. And now your fire clip should be tracked to your finger. If it doesn't sit on your hand correctly, just use the normal motion properties so that you can align it perfectly with your hand. That already looks great, but the fire isn't really sitting in my hand, it's kind of in front of it. Now to fix that, we're gonna put our fingers on top of the fire. Simply hold down Alt on your keyboard and duplicate the bottom clip. Now the fire should be gone. Go to the first frame of the clip where your fire is igniting. Then make sure the clip is selected and go to the effect controls. Find opacity and click the pen tool to create a mask. In the program monitor, drag a rough mask around the fingers in front of your fire. Then go back to the mask settings and click the mask pad stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now back in the program monitor, use the scroll wheel to move forward again. Then adjust the mask with every frame until you're at the end of the clip. Now increase the feather of the mask a lot and that will look so much better. Now the next trick is gonna make the effect look even more realistic. Fire spreads light to objects so we're gonna need to recreate that. First, go to the project window and click the new item button. Then choose adjustment layer. Drag it on top of your video. Now go back to the Lumetri panel and head over to basic correction. In here, increase the exposure and perhaps add a little orange into your shot. Whatever works for you. Now the entire shot is too bright and doesn't look good. To fix that, go to the effect controls and find the Lumetri effect we just created. Click the pen tool to create a mask and head over to the program monitor. In here, create a big mask around the flame. Now only the inside of this mask is brightened up. Increase the feather a lot and now it looks like the background is brighter because of the fire. You can click the pen tool again to add a second mask. This way you can add more light to your body or other objects. Whatever you like. Now if you want to learn how to recreate more effects from Avatar, definitely let me know because I really love doing it. For now you just have to do it with these three amazing VFX you can create in Premiere. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay creative.